One thing tonight, no shirt, no pants, no problem. And I think the locals would agree with me here in Melbourne. Collaborating with me in the commentary box is Matthew Richardson. Welcome, Richo. Thanks, Dennis. Expecting something very special here tonight. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banner looks great and everything is spelt correctly. Mind you, I'm the last man to ask. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. Umpire tosses the coin. This is a clash that makes King Kong versus Godzilla look like a chimpanzee's tea party. I can't wait for this match to get underway. I've had sleepless nights dreaming about this clash. Here we go. It's the Hawks versus the Swans. Hanabry controls it. Sicily aims for his man on the ground. Lloyd gets it out of the congestion. Deft touch from Grundy. He's got the football now. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Hey, nice play, Shakespeare. He runs into the goal. Naismith laps up the misplaced footy. It's his. Parkick with the kick. Taken by Kennedy. Kicks it. Impey with the mark. He's a long kick. The contest, no match for him. Boots it. Nice mark there. Chips it down towards half forward. Burgoyne needs to do a little bit more work on his jumping. He can get some good height, but it's the timing that's not quite there. Lining it up with the goal now. Rioli with the spoil. Lloyd kicks the ball. Nay Smith sharks the ball away. Ball up in the centre square. McAvoy gets onto the ball. Kicks hurriedly. Burgoyne boots it has clearly been shopping at Clang as a Russ. Ruffett misses the goals. Point the difference. He's searching for his teammates. McVeigh looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. McVeigh, he's not the biggest threat on the field, but he can make his opponent accountable, and he requires a watchful eye at times. If that was basketball, you'd call that from downtown. Hawthorne have the advantage on the scoreboard over the Swans. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. McAvoy will give you a competitive contest in every hit out, I can assure you of that. But the midfielders are going to have to work really hard to earn the centre clearances off his ruck work. Rowan intercepts the ball. Sinclair slams the ball to his boot. He gathers up the intercepted ball, dishes it off to the running player, sending it on its way. Jams it on the boot now. Marked by Rioli. The Hawks haven't taken many inside 50 forward marks and their ability to nail goals on the run is what's keeping them in front of the Swans. Gunston kicks for goal. Magnificent goal. The Swans trailing already. They need to pick up the pace and right now. Here's the bounce. McAvoy taps, guided by Sicily. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. Sends the Sharon on its way. He misses the mark. McVeigh with the pass. Rioli, no match for the man with the ball. Gunston with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. A favorable bounce. Pressure really being applied now at this early stage to the Swans. Mills has shown a lot of character with his recent performances. McVeigh with the mark. Puts power behind that kick. It comes off hands. Towers picks it up. Towers hands over the ball. Jure getting into position for the kick. Gunston with real good use of the body. 
Gunston unloads one towards goal. Nice work from Gunston. That's two now. He's playing well. That's two in a row for the Hawks. Hawthorne by 20 points. The bounce. Sinclair hits it. Controlled by Burgoyne. Haywood passes. And the wrist pays off. Goal. The Swans on the scoreboard now. Umpire has the ball. Ready for the centre bounce. Sinclair punches it. He controls the bouncing ball. Puopolo has the ball. Strong mark. Sicily slams it on the boot. Pointless attempt by Mills. Guided by Marsh. No question there. It's a free. Lining up the goal now. Ruffhead with a straight line to go. Ruffhead hammers the ball for goal. The Hawks by 20 points. Ruffhead has shown a lot of character with his recent performances. Umpire bounces the ball. Good tap from Sinclair. Annabry collects it. Puopolo closes him down. Now we'll get a ball up. Siegler got a fist on it. Hardwick with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Hardwick taps. Papley with an easy mark. Jams it on the boot. And the mark will be paid. Towers is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. Kennedy with the kick. That's a mark. Lining it up with the goal now. Hayward has a kick. Hayward. Wonderful goal. The Swans will be worrying now. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Sinclair hits it. Puopolo with the tap. Haywood taps it. Brand picks it up. Shoots off the handball. Siegler feeds it wide. No one troubling him there. Slams it on the boot. I guess it was worth a go. Smith has some potential and he'll really be able to unlock that potential if he has some continuous effort. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Segler taps it, gets the loose ball. He kicks the ball, he takes the contested mark. Rampy slams the ball to his boot. Sinclair just wanted it more then. He slams that on the boot. He slams that on the boot. Strong mark there. Slams it on the boot. Nice work from Newman. Sends the Sharon on its way. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. A lovely drop punt. Jack claims the ball. 30 metres from home. Jack with the shot. A goal for the Swans. That will settle his nerves. The first goal is always welcome. Jack can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. Omar feeling the pressure gets the quick kick away. He's got the football now. Great grab. Puts boots a ball. What a strong mark. Seconds remaining in this quarter. He kicks it. Oh, tough break. Sydney, no need to worry just yet. Frawley waiting for his teammates to break. They're using the Tokyo subway play. Langford having no trouble taking that one. Bumps the big skin. One quarter down and three to go. Plenty of football still to be played. The scores at the Hawks, 26. The Swans, 19. They're in front and they deserve to be in front. They stepped up in all areas and really made their opposition look second rate. Let's take a brief look at the stats. The Swans with 12 tackles, lagging behind Hawthorne on 12. Uh, the, the siren sounds for the second quarter. Always make a total effort, even when the odds are against you. Haywood finds his man on the move. Reed starts in, his shadow beside him. Where else would it be? Well, depends on the sun. Reed going for number one. It's in the air. A monster of a kick gets home. Chalk it up six points. That will settle his nerves. The first goal is always welcome. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. McAvoy taps it. Lloyd there to mop it up. Nicely intercepted by Mitchell. Hits the running man. McVeigh has got some sure hands. He doesn't often fumble the loose ball. He boots it. He marks the ball. He slams that on the boot. Hanabry with the ball. He gets boot to the ball. Hayward marks it. He kicks the ball. Langford with the mark. Kicks. A mark by Kennedy. Sending it on its way. Hewitt marks the ball.
You'll need a long range boomer from here. A 45 degree angle for this kick. Picture perfect drop punt. Mitchell claims the ball. Kicked in a flurry. No one troubling him there. Puopolo has the passion for this game and that shines through every time he plays. Kennedy taking aim. He slams that on the boot. He gets the upper hand. Impey with the kick. Jure takes the mark. Anything that goes that far needs a stewardess. Great grab. Kicked by Puopolo. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Hanabry trimming the grass with that kick. Gets boot to leather. Nice contested mark by Kennedy. Kennedy is just ridiculously consistent. I'd like to see a clanger from him for a change. When coaches have someone like him in the lineup, they can just sleep a lot easier knowing how reliable he is. Mitchell getting some power behind that one. Puopolo drilled that kick in. Kicks it across the ground. Solid as a rock, and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. McVeigh taps it. Lloyd is able to grab it on the half volley. He has space for an easy mark. Rowan with a gigantic kick. Marked by McAvoy. Sending it on its way. Burgoyne takes a contested mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. O'Brien is a great mark on the lead, but he can sometimes get worked under the ball in the contest. If he can lift his overhead capability, he will be a star. McAvoy shoots for goal. That's a great goal. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Reed without a touch. The clearance by McAvoy. There'll be a ball up in the center square. McAvoy looked about as coordinated as Disney's goofy. Soccer kick. Burton looking like a Manchester United player. He gains possession. Tap by Impey. Mitchell with the tap. He kicks quickly. The loose ball picked up by Puopolo. Puopolo decisively. O'Brien comes away with the ball. Wins the hard ball. Lloyd needs to do a little bit more work on his jumping. He can get some good height, but it's the timing that's not quite there. Marsh with a strong mark. He slams that on the boot. Kennedy with the ball. Sending it on its way. Reed with a strong mark. Gets boot to high. Barkley takes it well. He kicks the ball. That's a nice strong mark. Haywood feeds it wide. Hewitt looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Hewitt taking a chance at goal. Heaney intercepts it. Crawley sends the ball on its way. Langford got a really good footballing brain. A nice contested mark. He kicks the ball. The mark will be paid. Shields slams the ball to his boot. He gets boot to the ball. He takes the contested mark. He slams that on the boot. Great hands. Rampy puts it on the boot. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Kennedy sinks the long kick. He's back to couple now. The fans are really getting their money's worth. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. And there's the bounce. McAvoy with the punch. Scoops up the bouncing ball. Now that's just giving the ball away. But he is like a chain. You always have to work on the weakest links. Puts the head down as he runs in. Nice hands. Kicking to steal the lead. Stunning. When you need someone to stand up and be counted, he's certainly done that. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Guided by Ziegler. Squeezes out a handball. Mills takes him down, but the kick is away. Slams it on the boot. Hanabry with the mark. Hanabry is a freak at understanding and anticipating his opponent's actions. Burgoyne gets the mark without contest. He kicks the ball. Gunston wins the contested ball. He kicks it long. Strong mark there. They'll snatch the lead if he can slot this. If seeing is believing, then that guy could be one of the all-time great illusionists. That's his first. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Naismith nicely outclassing Ziegler. Mitchell gets the ball. He passes just before he's taken down by Hardwick. Gunston with the tap. Hastily kicked. Kicked in a flurry. Hardwick takes control of the ball. It's been intercepted by the opposition. That's it for the second quarter. What do you think of it now, Richard? 
My motto was to always get to the next contest, one more contest. Whether I was in a slump or feeling badly or having trouble off the field, the only thing to do was to get to one more contest. The players have had a good break. They should be ready to bring this game home. It will be interesting to see what changes, if any, the coaches make for the second half of the match. Takes possession. Puopolo can't hold on to the tackle. Parkick slams it on the boot. A solid mark from Rowan. Jams it on the boot. Wins the hardball. Opportunity for Haywood. 40 metres out. An important kick for the lead. So close, but just a behind. We're all tied up now. Frawley waiting to bring it back into play. Nice mark there. 35 metres out. Jack has a shot. It's a question of accuracy. He'll be happy with that. He'll be happy with goal number two. Sydney in front, but only one goal the difference. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. McAvoy knocks it down the field. Able to grab it on the half volley. He hand passes the ball. Kicked by Naismith. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Hayward can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. Parker goes for goal. Magnificent goal. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Clean tap out of the ruck. Sicily decisively gets a handball away. Burgoyne onto the ball. Rioli starts in, his shadow beside him. Where else would it be? Well, depends on the 45 metres out. Going for goal number three. Look at that. He's put it through. Three goals and a fine display from Gunston. All is in readiness. Bounce goes the ball. Good tap from McAvoy. Lloyd sticks out his hands and collects the ball. He gains possession. The ball mopped up. He gains possession. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. Steady hands there as he holds that one. 50 meters out. A set shot on a 45 degree angle. Langford taps it. A favorable bounce. Sneaks the ball away in time. Burton sticks out his hands and collects the ball. Heaney. He controls the bouncing ball. Now that miss could prove costly. Sydney by seven points. Frawley looking for a lead. He opts to play on with the ball. Send the top in, big fella. Great grab. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop pass. Jack taking aim. Choose to kick it. Haywood claims it. 35 metres out. A set shot on a 30 degree angle. Haywood with a great kick. That's his second. The Swans by 13. Haywood really wears his heart on his sleeve. The bounce straight down. McAvoy gets onto the ball. Tackles. Kennedy bumped off the ball. Takes possession. Tapped by Kennedy. Was that a throw? I think it was. Burgoyne kicks it. McAvoy soars over the pack and takes a ripper. He's got eyes like a pterodactyl with contact lenses. McVeigh is really starting to get into the right positions on the ground. He slams that on the boot. Nay Smith with the ball. Good mark. Hewitt boots it. Strong mark there. This will certainly test him from this distance. The ball is slammed towards goal by Jack. What a goal from a mammoth kick. The Swans leads by 19. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Nice bounce. McAvoy got a fist on it. Sicily with the tap. Towers comes away with the ball. Takes possession. He's a ball magnet. He handballs it. Choose to kick it. Roost takes the mark. Gets boot to high. McVeigh aims for his man on the ground. Kicked in a flurry. Gives it to McAvoy. He picks up the loose ball. McVeigh aims for his man on the ground. He's got the footy in his hands. Bruce gets it on the bounce. Nicely intercepted by Sicily. Intercepted. He gains possession. Mills swoops on the loose ball and will have a change of possession. The Hawks coach using the bench. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Sigler looked about as coordinated as Disney's Goofy. Kicks it. Sends the ball out into space. He gives it a punishing kick. Taken by Rowan. 
Rowan sends one up towards the wing. Parkick has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Nice mark there. Works it across the ground. Scoops up the ball. Naismith with the interception. Intercepted by Bimpy. Sydney sending out Kennedy. Umpire not having a bar of that and signalling for a ball up. Good tap from Sinclair. Sigler delivers a nice bump for Parker. The ball in the hands of Brand. He takes an uncontested mark. Gets boot to Weber. Wins the hard ball. Reed boots it. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Sends the Sharon on its way. Nice hands. Choose to kick it. Bounces favorably for Heaney. That decision was like taking a beer to a job interview. Not a very good idea. That's three in a row for Sydney. Sydney by 25. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Bounce goes the ball. Sinclair can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. Puts boot to bowl. Burgoyne with great hands. Sending it on its way. Segler takes the mark. Puts boot to bowl. Gunston takes the mark. 50 metres out. Not the easiest of angles this one. He's taking the shot from about 30 degrees. Mills lays it off by hand. Sigler directs it down. Three-quarter time is only moments away. Wow, some of his hits border on felonious assault. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. He gains possession. Rough hit lining up. 15 metres out. Ruffett just manages to sink it. Hawthorne has still a chance, given that this season we've seen teams play more leads than Inspector Clouseau. Sydney lead at the end of the third term by 19. They're in front and they deserve to be in front. They stepped up in all areas and really made their opposition look second rate. The third quarter ends with some high scoring on the board. Richo, what do the stats tell us? The stats are close, but the scores are very different. Hmm, that's pretty deep, Richard. One quarter to play. Pain is temporary. It may last a minute, an hour, or a day, or a year. But eventually it will subside and something else will take its place. If you quit, however, it will last forever. A solid mark from Duray. Sends it on its way. Drops the mark and the crummers are waiting. Lucky bounce collected. Has clearly been shopping at Clangers or Us. The ball is socket. That was a gutsy effort. The ball is on the ground, and it's picked up by Burgoyne. He's driven that ball hard, but it's a miss. Well, they've got a point, but it won't be enough to get them back into this. The defence are doing a decent job of making kicking out difficult, so I'd suggest he takes his time and just looks for the right option. Roost going for number one. It shaved the post just so close. Alarm bells are sounding for Hawthorne. Mills really wears his heart on his sleeve. Puts boot to ball. Plenty of space for a very easy mark. McVeigh boots it. Rowan takes a contested mark. He kicks the ball. Rioli claims the ball. He boots it. Great hands. Hanabry kicks it. He claims the ball. Sends the Sharon on its way. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. Burgoyne goes goalward, it's true. The Hawks trailing by less than two goals, they're still in this. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Tap to advantage, Naismith bumped off the ball. Soccer kick, kicks. Lloyd Campbell short, it's impossible to outplay an opponent, you can't outthink. Think about that. Slots it. Hawthorne could score the last three goals. Less than a goal the difference. The Hawks still in with a chance. Tapped by McAvoy. He controls the bouncing ball. Lobs the pass. Dishes it off to the running player. Rioli looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Scoops up the bouncing ball. Durade has seen plenty of the footy. Naismith directs it down. Clean tap by Haywood. The bouncing ball is controlled, finding the running player. Kennedy with the torpedo. Langford has it. 
Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Stratton, he's not the biggest threat on the field, but he can make his opponent accountable, and he requires a watchful eye at times. Hayward getting into position for the kick. Hayward takes a shot. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. Puopolo takes the mark. Sends it on its way. Great grab. McAvoy boots it. Rioli soars over the pack and takes a ripper. He's got eyes like a pterodactyl with contact lenses. Gunston slams it on the boot. Naismith takes it well. He boots it. Parker with the ball. Bumps the big skin. Perfect timing from Kennedy. Puts boot to ball. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Nay Smith can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. Hayward puts his boot on it. Heaney with great hands. Going for goal number two. He's rammed that one into the woodwork. A one goal lead put the Swans. Not much on offer for Truly. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. That drop punt works well for Langford. Shields looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Impey marks it. Looks like he panicked there. Kennedy looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Kennedy is a first-class decision maker. He appears relatively unhurried when under pressure and constantly finds the best option in heavy traffic. What a great skill. Rowan slams the ball to his boot. Hanabry with the mark. Slams it on the boot. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Amarit gives the ball to the man on the run. Both hands right in the middle of the back. A clear free. Brand kicks the ball. He grabs it. Looks like he panicked there. McAvoy sticks out his hands and collects the ball. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. He kicks it. Take a bow, son. I mean, take a bow. You have been immense. Enormous pressure on at this stage of the game. Roughhead has a lot of passion for this game. You can see it every time he steps onto the field. He's an inspiration to all players around him. McAvoy runs off the ground like someone just gave him a Metamucil smoothie. Claimed by Sinclair. All of a sudden the ball has become a hot potato. Quickly disposed of by Impey. Gets a handball away. And he's heading for home. Amara steers the ball towards goal. Hawthorne by six points. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Sinclair can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. He gets a fist to it. Kennedy games the loose ball. He gets boot to the ball. Strong mark there. He kicks the ball. Shields with a strong mark. Shields sends one up towards the wing. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. He's got the evasiveness and the flashy tricks of a star. He slams that on the boot. He grabs it. Impey slams the ball to his boot. Strong mark there. O'Meara kicks the ball. O'Brien with good strong hands. Sends the Sharon on its way. He wins the contest. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Inside 50 by Roost. Wow, that was such a close game. I can finally unclench. Richo, how did you see their performance in today's game? Confidence is contagious, so is lack of confidence. Let's hope the result doesn't come back to haunt them. You always have that unique perspective on things, Richo. Final scores of the match at the Hawks, 76, against Sydney, 70. Fred Show, as always, it's been a pleasure. Thanks, Dennis. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Until next time, goodbye.